water change day again. <sighs> I swear I only done it two or three days ago. <sighs> Next week. Hi, yeah, is that the 240 fresh water tank? Yeah, um, I'm too sick. I, I won't be able to clean you this week. It'd be, it'd be next week. Promise I'm going to clean you this week. <sighs> no, I won't. We've all been there when we've been struggling with motivation or lack of when it comes to your maintenance and water changes. So becoming demotivated and losing your enthusiasm can happen to the best of us. And it can even extend to the point of completely falling out of love with the hobby. Look, it's not you, it's me, okay? <sighs> just don't feel the same way anymore. Now I've had it, you've had it, we've all lost that motivation, so I'm gonna give you five top tips or easy tips that are gonna help revive that motivation and bring it back to life. So the first tip I'm gonna give is giving your scape a bit of a refresh, whether that be from the rocks, the plants, the wood, whatever it may be in the tank, just change it around or maybe go out and spend a little bit just to refresh the tank and bring back some of that motivation. So similar to when you go out and say buy something new like a car or an item for yourself, it kind of gives you that feeling where because it's new, you wanna keep keep it clean, you want to maintain it, and you want to look after it that little bit more. So the first tip, refresh what's going on in the tank. It may not be a new tank, but it will give you that new tank feeling. So tip number two is make your maintenance and water changes more enjoyable. So that may be put some music on that you can enjoy listening to while you're doing your maintenance. Hey Google, tropical house playlist for my tropical fish tank. Open up your favorite beverage while you're doing your maintenance. Set the mood so the environment's right. Just a quick note on that one, no scented candles. Do it at a time when you can enjoy it and the household is relaxed. So here I have Monday maintenance. The kids are in bed, the wife is watered, the house is nice and relaxed and I can just enjoy my maintenance. And when I say Monday maintenance, it stays as Monday maintenance and nothing gets in the way. I love date night. Ben, are you ready? It's Monday. So coming in at number three is taking some time off. And that's taking time off from the fish themselves, your fish tanks and the hobby. Now mentally it can become draining when day in, day out, you're doing head counts every morning, every afternoon and evening. Feeding, sometimes feeding one, two, three times a day. And then when you're feeding, you're getting sucked into looking at your tank and again, maybe even doing another head count or trying to find that fish that you saw this morning, which has now seemed to disappear and you spend the next 20 minutes taking a look for him. Where's he gone? Talking about your fish and tanks day in, day out. Talking to your friends, your family. Every time you go out and you see someone in the fish store, again, you're talking about fish. On top of that, you go into the fish store maybe one, two, three times a week on top of already counting your fish, feeding your fish. And then on top of that, already you're just generally taking a look at your tanks. Every time you walk past, you're taking a look just to see what's going on and just to admire the tanks themselves. So take some time off, give your brain time to relax and move away from the hobby and the fish tanks themselves. Feed the fish and then just walk away. Stay out the fish room or try and avoid the fish room as much as possible. A big one for me is staying off social media. Now I think when I'm scrolling through the likes of Facebook and Instagram, I don't even see my friend's posts anymore as it's just fish picture after 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 fish picture. After fish picture. Oh, and a fish tank. Maybe even give yourself a no fish Friday. So I usually have a busy weekend when I'm out on customers tanks. Monday through till Thursday, I'm doing maintenance, water changes, doing videos here. So on Friday is no fish Friday. There's no going to the fish store. There's no obviously spending time with the fish and having a conversation with them. It's just no fish Friday. Let the brain refresh, ready to get you back into it on a Saturday morning. So tip number four is making your maintenance and your water changes easier on maintenance day. So if you're still using buckets an old fashioned way, get yourself a pump and hose so you can just dump that pump into the tank and pump the water straight out the window. If you're still lifting buckets and making it strenuous for yourself, upgrade your equipment just to make life that little bit easier. Get yourself some long hoses for when you're pumping the water. So no matter where the tank is in the house, you can always run the pipe or the hose out of the house so you can just drain it straight into the garden or it could just be down into the drain. Go to the builders, merchants, the B&Qs, the wicks, they're cheap enough and you can buy them up to 20, 30 meters in length. So all that's gonna do is it means you won't need your buckets anymore, running buckets to and from the tank, lifting heavy buckets out of the tank with water in just to throw them out into the garden. When all you need is a hose and a pump and that's it, 
you're draining your tank. Again, going back to tip number one, if your scape's been redone, you can move it around to make sure your maintenance is easier also. So again, with my tanks, I've always made sure that access around the glass and around the back is always nice and easy to get to. When it comes to vacuuming the sand, make sure your scape isn't getting in the way and it's easy enough to do. So when it comes to things like cleaning the glass and vacuuming the sand, your scape's not getting in the way, causing you to get stressed out. Magnet cleaners and blade cleaners being used through the week. So again, if you're using a good blade cleaner, I usually recommend the Tunzi Care magnets or the flippers. But blading the glass through the week means on maintenance day, there's not much sponge work or blading or hand blading that you need to do on the day. So getting the maintenance quick five minutes in the evening going over your glass means come water change day, all you really have left to do is a water change and vacuum the sand. Other small things that you can do through the week is when your feed is turn your filter off. Now, a lot of people tend not to turn their filters off, but if you turn your filter off when you're feeding, that means there's less food that's getting caught up in the filter, which in the long run, that means you're cleaning your filter a lot less than you would be. And plan your maintenance. Now, when you first start doing a tank, it may take you an hour, it may take you two hours, but by the time you've done it a couple of months or a couple of years and you've planned it through, you should be able to knock it out in sort of half an hour, 45 minutes. So understand how long your tank takes to drain. While it's draining, clean your glass. Once it's finished draining, do your sand, stick the pump back in, fill her back up, go sit down and have yourself a beer. Filling the tank back up, get yourself some hose clips or maybe even a filtration unit that plugs straight into the tap, which you then just run straight into the tank. Again, with a hose clamp, it means you don't have to worry about if your hose is still in the tank, you're not using buckets to fill it back up or wondering or scared if your hose has fallen out the tank. Again, you turn the tap on, you hook it on the tank, and that's it, you sit down while she fills up. Now, number five is a tip I wouldn't always recommend, but it may be that last chance to revive the motivation, and that is changing the fish that you're looking after. You may just have got to a point where the fish that you're now keeping that just don't motivate you or tingle your bones anymore. So you may currently have a tank that's quite calm and relaxed when really what's gonna get your brain going and your motivation going again is having something a little bit more busy. So it may be going over from something like fresh water to marine. If you're keeping something like discus or angelfish, maybe go over to cichlids. So like I said, I don't usually recommend it because fish are friends and fish are for life, but it may just be the fish that are in your tank that just aren't doing it for you anymore. So do some revision, take a look at if it's the change in fish or the style of the tank that you need to change over to revive that motivation and then make a decision on what you want to do. So losing your motivation in this hobby is one of the worst things that can happen. After all, if it doesn't affect you mentally, in the worst case scenario, it affects these guys as your water quality starts to drop and it's only them that pay the price. So hopefully them five top tips will help get you going again and bring back that motivation that you used to have. So what we can do is we can get you away from this and get you back to the way you used to enjoy it when it was like this. Let's do this. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, if it's a money issue that's demotivating you or causing you a motivational issue, take a look at this video here as it will give you some money saving tips on your fish tank. Until then, stay motivated and I'll see you next time. Now playing Tropical House. Hey Ben, Tank TV is amazing. I will be sure to subscribe.